Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me every week. Um, today's video is not for resellers that have been in the game for a while. This is for brand new people. Um, I'm doing this little mini series on just different uh, tricks and tips of like how to use the Poshmark app, especially if you're brand new. And I'm doing this because a lot of people have asked for it. So people that I know in real life have been wanting to get on the Poshmark app and I'm all for that. The more people on Poshmark, the merrier, like, um, let's get it. So anything that I can do to help, um, obviously I want to pass on my knowledge and help brand new people the way that I was helped when I was brand new. So the mini series is really just going to be for brand new people and it's going to be very basic topics. And this week's topic is going to be closet clear out. So obviously if you're brand new and you're up on the Poshmark app, there's a bunch of words that Poshmark uses that like nobody else does. So you have no idea what they mean, right? So this week's episode is just going to be kind of explaining what closet clear out means and how I personally use that feature. So um, if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, if you like reseller content at all, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every single time I upload a video, hit the little bell notification. You'll get a push notification to your device and that will let you know when the latest video is up. And also if you like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button on your way out. Okay, so closet clear out. What does it mean? Sometimes if you're on social media, you'll even see it as CCO, closet clear out. Um, and if you're, obviously if you're brand new, you have no idea what that means. You're like, what even is this abbreviation? Like, um, So all it really means is that Poshmark is trying to support their sellers in offering a discounted shipping rate for the buyer that does not come out of your earnings as a seller. So in normal cases, if Closet Claret was not running and you were trying to do an offer to likers, so if somebody liked your item, you have this shirt, right? Somebody likes your item, you have the option to offer them a like special price. So you can go to offers to likers and you have to discount your item 10% and then you also have to offer a shipping discount. And I believe that the current discount is $2.12 that will come out of your earnings. So that means that the buyer will get their shipping for $4.99 and that will come out of your earnings. Now, on closet clear out days, Poshmark foots the bill for that. So basically, you would, somebody would like your item, you would go into your item and edit the price instead of sending a uh, like individual offer you would discount the price 10 percent for everyone and then a notification will go out to all of those people that have liked your item and it will basically say the crystal bear has discounted this torrid shirt 10 percent or 13 percent or whatever percent whatever and then it will say get it now for $4.99 shipping for the next six hours. And so if the customer buys that item, then you get to keep $2.12 for yourself on top of that. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like I'm explaining it kind of weird, but that's pretty much the gist of it, which is basically like who's footing the bill for the shipping discount. Either you are or Poshmark is. So if you wait till closet clear out day, then you can get Poshmark to foot the bill and you get to keep more of your money and everybody loves that. So now back in the day, about a year or two ago, they would not run closet clear out that much. So it would be a big deal. Now I feel like they run closet clear out every third day. And like, that's not even an exaggeration. I'm pretty sure they run it every third day. Um, so it's not as exciting for the sellers. It's not as exciting for the buyers. And so I really tried to come up with a way to still utilize that feature, but not like overwhelm the buyers and all of that. So basically here's what I do. Um, I will, 
anybody who's liked that item in the past 24 or 48 hours, if I haven't already sent them a discounted price, I will put their item in a bundle. I will tell them, hey, thanks so much for shopping my closet. Poshmark's running this special today. You will get $4.99 shipping. And I put this all in a comment. So I don't send any offers. I just bundle the item, put the comment in, and then ask them if they want to do that. That way I'm not lowering my price for no reason, right? Because then I'm going to have to go back in and up the price again after Closet Clear is over, which is a whole lot of work for no reason. If I can just get somebody to agree to pay that price, then I will drop the price. They will purchase the item. And that's that. So that's really how I've been using it. And um, I did a little phone screen recording which obviously is the orientation of the video is going to flip so I apologize for that I'm still new to editing I don't really know how to do like a screen recording that is the long way that like you won't have to like move your head or whatever so sorry for that but um it's just gonna kind of walk you through so that you can actually see the buttons that I'm pressing so hopefully that will be helpful to you um <clears throat> and yeah so I'm gonna insert that clip and that's pretty much how I use it. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys. I hope that you're gonna get a little bit of information out of this. Um, if there's anything else that you want to see, if you're brand new and you don't know how to use whatever feature, it, the videos are gonna look something like this where you're gonna get kind of a screen recording of like how I do it. But if it's helpful to you and there's something that you wanna see, leave a comment down below and I will definitely try and make that video for you. I feel like I've been doing this now, like not for super long, but long enough to like forget that some things that I think are like second nature, you don't necessarily know as a brand new person. So don't feel like anything is dumb to ask. Just leave a comment on what you're trying to figure out and I will do my best to help you. So thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go to this item right here, this Aster orange novelty print dress. And I'm going to send out kind of like offers, but not really. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and open up how many likers. So we have six likers in all. So I'll click on it so that I can see the list of people that's liking it. And I'm just going to go one by one. I'm going to click on their name. And then I'm going to click on their little bundle thing at the top. Click on these three buttons right here and switch to seller view right here. And then I'm going to scroll down and it will show you right here everything that that person has liked from your closet. So she's only liked this one dress. So I'll hit this button right here, the little bag with the plus sign, and it will add it to her bundle. Okay. So right now the price is $55. So the way that Closet Clear Out works is you have to drop the price at least 10% and then Poshmark will offer the discounted shipping. So all I'm going to do, I have already had this written out, so I just kind of copy and paste. So I'm just going to paste. I'm so sorry. This is like in the way. Paste. Um, and it just says, hi there. If you're interested in purchasing this item, this item from Poshmark is running a sale today if I drop the price to and then I just change what the price would be so that was $55 so I'd have to drop it $5 <clears throat> so we'll say 50 so if I drop the price to $50 Poshmark will offer you discounted shipping of $4.99 as well please let me know if you are interested and I will drop the price so I hit post and then can I get rid of this I just have to keep moving it around sorry um, so then that will show up in their bundle so they're gonna get a notification on their end that I put this item in their bundle and then that I put this message here <clears throat> and then if they do decide that they want to do that they'll their uh, reply will come up over here and I'll get a notification if they say yes then I will go to the item and I'll show you this just really quickly. I would go to edit, go all the way down to the price. I would hit this button, this little calculator button. It will drop the price to $49. So they'll actually get 
a little bit um, more of a discount than what I thought. And see how it says suggested minus 10%. So you would apply suggested price, which I'm not going to do right now. And then you would hit next and it would repost the listing. And then that will s trigger Poshmark to send out their $4.99, <clears throat> excuse me, their $4.99 shipping discount. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to do that right now. But that's how you would do that if they said yes to this. So I'm going to keep going back. So that was the first one. Then I'm just going to work my way down. Right? So the same thing. Oh, that's the wrong button. Switch to seller view. So they've also liked this item in the past. Obviously that's sold. So I'll just continue. Hit paste. And I will say 50. We'll just keep it like that. Post. And that's it. And then I just move along to the next person. And once you kind of get repetitive with this, honestly, like it's, it takes no time. <clears throat> it's kind of just like muscle memory, I guess. Um, and I would suggest writing out whatever you want to say and then kind of um, keeping it on your clipboard on your phone so that you can just copy and paste because that's honestly what makes this take no time at all. If you're having to write it out every single time, then obviously it's going to take a little bit more time. So I try and just be as efficient as possible and keep everything copied and pasted. And this is the last one, so I'll just add this to her bundle, paste it, 50, and that's it. That's how you do it. So this kind of helps me instead of sending out offers to likers on days where they're doing closet clear out, I will try and take advantage of Poshmark's um, willingness to cover the shipping discount because obviously the buyer is going to get the same discount but I'm going to get to keep another two dollars or so of my money so that's just kind of how I do it I hope this is helpful